Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 74 of this Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. This is the March of the Vikings. In the last episode, we did some raiding, we started building some more stuff, and basically I think we're going to just more or less continue along those lines. Um, how's the air doing? Depressed. Skilled tactician, though. He's not the best, but he'll do. Um, so what are we doing? We are raiding? Yeah, we are. Of course we are. That's what we do. We have a ship with almost full loot. Once we have that back at home, I think that we may start trying to conquer a place or two once again. I'm somewhat tempted to go after Bohemia. Why are we at war with Australia? Defending against Sverker the Wise and the Danish pre prepared invasion of Lithuania. I could actually join you in that war. Because I would quite like you to be successful in taking Lithuania. Mostly because prepared failed prepared invasions freaking hurt. Um, so yeah, I think I will assist you in that. Once we've finished looting the uh, Bank of England, I'll send some troops over. Who are you actually fighting here? Bohemia, Poland, Andalusia, Pomeralia, Yatugi, and Austrasia. That's a lot of people. Especially as you're currently in seclusion and not really contributing. Alright. Back on the ships and we'll send you... Got that. Okay. Would you... like some assistance. How do I do it? Well, it was just, there we go, offer to join war, prepared invasion. We cannot join our vassals wars except for crusades and jihads and for supporting their claims outside your realm. Really? This is technically a, a claim outside of my realm. Ah. It's another minus 20 we're going to suffer because my vassals suck at taking stuff. Uh, although I could myself declare war on Bohemia. Because I would still quite like Pomeralia. Pomerania. Pomerania is the one I want. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. And now if you lose this one, or her Denmark, you really do suck. Okay, let's send you guys over here. Let's have you guys over here. Let's have you guys over here as well. Alright, let's do this. Fulfilled my ambition to build a war chest. Thankfully, just. Sverker has returned to my court and council, and he is yet again able to undertake his duties. Good. You guys can stop reading, by the way. A son was born to King Klaus, or Prince Klaus. This would, in fact, be Mordred. Bizarre. Wait. Oh, right. Klaus. Klaus is not my heir. Never mind. I thought he was my heir, but he's not. We want to wait for just a bit longer. That will do. Oh, stop. Okay, so, in command is Rolfa. Second, third. Get on the ships. And sail over here. Unload over here. That's fine. And go get the rest. You guys, head in there. Let's turn the speed down just a little bit. So that we can bring in the rest of my forces. When do you arrive? 20th of June. Seven days. That's quite a long time.
are you coming for me? I think you are. Alright, we'll stay here. No, you're not. Damn it. Um, you know what? I'll go down here and then around. Because I don't want to have the uh, river crossing. So I'd rather hit them from the side. Lost a lot of them. Sparker is no longer my steward. Have you just lost another sodding war? Oh no, you just died. Does that count as a failed prepared and oh, for fuck's sake, really? Yep, that counted as a failed one. <sighs> Does it say how he died? Oh, I'm your heir. Interesting. Um, your father died of severe stress, so it is natural causes, technically. But alright, new steward. On Bjorn. Hang on. Yeah, on Bjorn. We'll be totally fine. I'll have you here in Gotland as well. Okay, so that's the three powerful kings. Oh no, it's not. We don't have Denmark. Right, because Denmark's just a kid right now. Alright. Well, let's see how we do over here. Let me switch my troops around again. So, we do outnumber them quite significantly. This should be a fairly number fight. Oh, I just killed my best commander as well. Damn it! Stop dying, people! Um. That's the wife. Do I want to risk her as a spy master? I don't think I do really. I'll just continue scheming. And yes, I will give you an honorary title of law speaker. Make you like me a bit more. Yeah, this fight's as good as over. Excellent. Hopefully, we did a lot of damage. Fair amount. The war score's nice. Have you brought in any allies? Poland. Yatiagi. Not really. Okay, let's head up here. We'll just smash these guys. Pretty easy fight. Okay. Then we're just going to split you, split you, and split you. Leave one unit here, you go there, you go there, and you go there. And we'll just siege this stuff down, then we'll head over here to the lands that I actually wanted to take. But having some sieged is a good idea. I'm not seeing any large enemies rising up against us. Finish Holy War for Prussia on Casimir. That's. this? No, that's Burgundy. On Prussia. Oh, that's not Poland. Duke Casimir the Just. Is that you? No. Nope. Right, where's Prussia? I know it's around here somewhere. In fact, I thought this here was Prussia. Yeah, it is. Alright, are you fighting him? Nope. Him? There we go. You're fighting against Pomeralia. Okay, that's acceptable. You guys get on the boat and contribute. In fact... And we may as well bump up the speed again. Really, you just keep on feeding more men in. Alright, so will I. I 
no idea where my generals are right now. Apparently they were there. Good. So they lost 5,000, we lost 2,000. That was a bunch more war score. Lovely jubbly. And we'll take that. We'll take that. Castle walls, lots of walls, lovely jubbly. And hopefully the town or the um castle town thing in Visborg. No, I didn't build it in the end. Well, I would like to, because plus two tax income would be quite a lot. Yes. And... No, I'm not going to spend all the money, just in case we need mercenaries. I can't really see it being necessary, but you never know. Bad things could happen. Especially as you keep on bringing more and more people into this war. Including Australia. Need to keep an eye out for the big armies appearing. Let's head down there and just kill them. And then we'll go back and start sieging it again. Oh, here they are. Captured the Duke of Bohemia. Not the King of Bohemia, though. Um, no, you stay in Zudmud. You come to Zudmud. You guys are running into there. Okay. <coughs> Proving relations. Good, good, good. Group, group. Has their big army gone? What are you doing down here? Oh, you're going for Prussia. Okay, never mind. That's fine. We really shorten commanders again. I feel like we are. Yes, we are. Right, so, commander of this. Where the hell are all of my generals? Here they are. Remove you, remove you, remove you. Put you in command here, and you, and you, 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 and you. Okay, we have some commanders. I think that was part of the problem before. You're a Viking, you're not. Do I care? Married to my brother or uncle or whatever the hell he is. Where the hell did they come from? Shattered their centre and their left, so we should be just fine here. Beating up their right, and okay, victory. They lost 2,000 more. Really not doing very well in this fight though, I have to say. Because we're fighting an enemy holy army, let's bring in our own, seeing as this is who I'm actually fighting for. Let's actually land in Zamali. Hi. I was going to say, we better not lose that. I saw the, the morale jump there. I was like, ah! Three thousand more dead, good. And then we'll split you. We'll just leave you in two sets like this. We're getting a lot of experience just from the um sorry, a lot of war score just from the battles. Occupation we're getting a bit. Are they occupying any of us? No. Oh hello, there's another army over there. 
So I was fighting this with like 4,000 men short, almost. They would have been useful. Those are the king levies as well. You guys get the boat and head. Yeah. We're gonna win that fight though, pretty handily. Oh, we killed. Ha! Huh, we killed their king. And now they have a little kid who's in charge. Oh, that's gonna be bad things for Bohemia. Marvelous. Happy about that. Kurzail should fall soon. is no longer my marshal. Nupa then. Oh, you're actually an adult. My bad. You are definitely a diplomat. You are definitely not a marshal. That's two people with only diplomatic skill. Hmm. And there goes Bohemia, collapsing. As I thought they might. Oh, am I actually fighting? Oh, I'm actually at war with Lithuania now, not Bohemia itself. Interesting! Formed a large army here. So I'm going to go and counter said army with an even bigger army of my own. Oh crap. <laughs> and then they bring in their army. How have you just suddenly got so many troops? That's ludicrous. Cavalry, lots of archers, quite a few pikes, lots of light infantry. This could go either way, probably in their favour. My liege, I am deeply hesitant to ask, but my coffers are running dry from the upkeep of the levies you have raised from my domain. Any recompense for the costs of my liege's war should be a great comfort. Yeah, I'll give you money. That's fine. I have a feeling I'm going to lose that fight. Oh, 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 especially if you guys arrive. Nah, we've got this. We've got this. Yes. Oh, that's a big victory. Huge! 15 war score for that. Gross. Man, my armies rock. <laughs> Whew. I was generally concerned about that one. Alright, let's group you. Move you here. Stop trying to kill my stuff. Split you, send you lot there, send you lot up. No. Split you again, send you up there and then back again. Just so they're not sieging stuff that I've just conquered back again. Because that would suck. Really, you attacked me with a thousand men? That's suicide! Let's go and clear up that army as well. This is going surprisingly well. Considering I've basically had to fight double stack of enemies. Right. Go here. Go, 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 go. Not a chance. Bloody hell, who am I at war with? Germany, Bohemia, Bulgaria, 
uh, Avaria, Tyrol, Poland, Yavatugi. Can I see a, is there a diplomatic map mode here? Yes. Everything in red is who I'm at war with right now. It's just a little fight over Pomeralia. Jeez, guys. And I'm pretty sure that Lithuania did some shenanigans there to get like 10,000 more troops. There's definitely something strange going on. Oh, I don't have commanders. That's a mistake. 8,000 against their 6. You have basically no morale. Apparently you do. Okay, we've got this. Oh. Why'd you run? We had that. Seriously? Killed 4,000 of their men. Um, we'll just wait here for a moment, and we'll come over here, actually. Okay, their 5,000 men are off doing goodness knows what. Stay here. I want them to leave a bit further away. Go, go, go. That's right, you were running the wrong way. Hopefully we should be able to beat these guys before they come back. Looks like it. You want to marry... them. Yeah, I accept that. That's a victory. You're running off in the wrong direction. Right. 65% war score. Oh, you're so freaking close to winning that one. Um, how are we doing for reinforcements? We could get a bunch more troops, actually, by relieving the levies and then bringing them back again. Where's their main army gone? Over there. If we go and beat them up, to keep the... Uh, not together. Let's see if we can find a good place to fight that's on our terms. Fight in here. We'll go and try and take down this 1000 man army. And if they're splitting up like they are currently, then that's really good for us. And we are also getting more troops over time. Man, maximum army size is 21,000. Blimey. That's rather a lot of troops. Catch them, catch them. Damn it. I will get to Poltosk. Kosikov, rather. We're in Poltosk. Polot. Polotsk. Polotsk. You guys are probably going to come charging in as soon as we engage. No, you're not. Mistake! Thank you for letting me take you apart one army at a time. That's how I won my previous wars. Time up a bit. Bringing in another thousand, that's not going to help you. Don't kill the German army. And then down here. Even better if we can catch them. Yes, we did. There should be a fight we can win. But I don't have my best people in place. Nice. Actually, hang on. You don't much like me, so I'm not going to leave you in command of that side. 
Right, let's go and take Zamud back then. Whoa. Oh man. Mordred II feasted in, the, in Valhalla at the age of 57. He died a natural death. Well known to be prone to carnal sins, he was unfaithful to his wife, a wicked man. Mordred will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. Emperor Barad, a godly man, Barad is sure to impress the Godais with his extensive knowledge of the sagas. Long live Emperor Barad. With a whole boatload of pretenders. Marvellous. Lies do hurt people, the truth. You can't handle the truth! Yeah, cool. So, Barad, what are you good at? Not very much. Plus three stewardship. We did inherit two provinces, which we're now going to hand off to Prince Mordred. Uh, there was a commenter who did ask when we were going to turn Gotland into a republic. I do still intend to do that. Probably once we've secured more of Russia, because I'll probably make Novgorod my capital eventually, and then probably Kiev after that. Um, but right now is not the time to do so. What factions are there? There will undoubtedly be quite a few factions, because... Oh no, they're not actually that unhappy with me. Berlbergslagen. I'll bribe you. Keep you happy that way. Alright, so we have some open council positions. We need a new spymaster. Could actually bring you in at this point. And then find out anyone plotting against me, please. Let's continue this war. I do still have more troops I can bring in if I need to. And I probably will need to. We do also have money for mercenaries. If it comes down to that. Ooh, speaking of which, I should give these away to younger brothers. Prince Mordred of Scandinavia, 14. County of... Where is it? God. And Ladoga. There you go. Enjoy yourself. I need an ambition. Groom an heir. You've already got an heir. Once seven male child and have them reach adulthood. do that because it doesn't take long like a year for us oh, for Pete's sake for too long you've restricted the political influence of the vassals the time has come to give your council more power submit to this demand peacefully or face the consequences we're sure to have gathered others who are equally upset <sighs> Nordriki and Norway Norway is quite a powerful vassal I'm in a war already. For now, I'll give in. Oh, this means I get advisors. Nice. And that keeps them happy. Apparently having increased council power also means you have an increased number of powerful vassals that you have to placate. But everyone's pretty happy with me, with me right now, so I'm hoping that we don't need to deal with more stuff, because that's the one that just fired. And I will curb their powers again in the future. Don't worry about that. Come back here, you little bastards. Catch them? Yes, good. 
We don't want them gathering their forces together again, because that was kind of painful last time it happened. Why do I keep losing war score? Are you capturing something off of me? You are, you're over there. Okay, interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Livland. In fact, as soon as you're in Sukov, we are going to send our regular vassals and our lead vassals home, and then we're going to raise them again. And this is where our ships are going to have to come in. Alright. Let's get ready for a fight. I might have been too harsh to the courtiers in Gotland, but Chancellor King Voldemar managed to calm them down, even like me more, just by giving them half a day off. I lose money, Voldemar is rewarded. Hopefully not by a favour or land, because that would suck. Okay, um... Actually, ships... one of my is out of place. Just gonna happen again. Group you in the boat. Go, 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 go. They've caught me when I'm somewhat weakened. Oh, you went up there, you little bastards. Um let's see where you are. That's fine. Okay, let's throw everything we have up. See, a fight we should win, damn it. Of course we don't. Your experience in matters of war has increased, and there are many things you would do differently in future battles. What will you focus on? Heavy infantry. Oh, we have 2,000 more men arriving. When do you arrive? 21st September. Can we hold that long? Yes. <laughs> we took more casualties than they did that time. That's not good. Okay, and with that we're going to end this episode, so thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this series then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already then please do consider subscribing as well. If you have any tips or advice for me, do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.